Hey guys, what's going on? Another day, which means we're vlogging. It's vlog time. So today I want to talk about why you should be content. I'm talking to a lot of my colleagues, fellow accountants, fellow business owners, and you know, they're, they're unhappy. They're unsettled. It's like they have this deep rooted sense of unfulfillment, which is okay if it's kept in check, but I want to encourage you guys to be content, be content with where you are. Don't always get so caught up in what you see somebody else doing, where you see their business, where you see their life. Oh, they, they made three sales this week and I've only made one. Or they've closed out and gotten five new clients this month and I haven't gotten any. You have to be content with where you are, not just in life, but even in your business. Everything is not for everybody. Everybody is on different paths and you have to be okay with that. And what I mean by being content, you know, I'm not saying you have to be satisfied, for example, with not getting any clients. But what I am saying is you have to be content. Maybe you don't get any clients this month, but maybe the next month you get three. You never know. So be content, guys. Be okay with just being who you are, who you were created to be, your uniqueness, your awesomeness, all of that. You know, uh, one example I can use is like that's currently um, happening for me is, you know, I'm starting the process of trying to get my CPA certification. And I can remember how when I was in college, you know, there was this thing inside of me because I'm like, oh man, I need to be a CPA. Why? Because everybody is telling me that's what I need to do. I just need to be one. And so I was working like 30 hours a week. I was doing my grad assistantship. I was trying to get my master's and doing all of this study for the CPA exam. And then I didn't get it. And I was just, oh my gosh, I'm a failure. I failed, which plenty of people do. I failed the test and, oh man, I, it's just more to it. As opposed to now being older, having a family, having work experience, it's okay. You know, okay, I don't have it. I've made great money, probably more money than the average, you know, person my age. So you have to be content with the path that's for you. And now since I'm starting to go back and study for my CPA is for completely different reasons. It has nothing to do with, oh, I need this to validate my intelligence or to show other people that I'm smart. No, 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 because I'm content with who I am. I'm content with the person I am and the things that I've done. You know, me getting this certification is simply just to ensure that I meet my business goals. It's really for other people and not for me, but I understand that it will help me have a better chance and opportunity to reach my five and 10 year goals, you know, to provide for my family. But trust me, I'm content. If I would never get it, I'd be perfectly fine because I'm okay with who I am as a person. So I just wanted to encourage you guys, don't get caught up in the hype and what everybody says. And my parents say I should do this. My best friends say I should do this. Be content with who you are. Be content with where you are in your journey. You know, without the road bumps that I've gone through, I would not be as strong as I am today. Without the failures that I've had to go through and overcome, I would not be as far along or as successful as I am today. Those failures, those mistakes, those trip ups, those bad decisions, those wrong decisions, they all, if you can switch your mind and, and look at it with the proper perspective, can help you to be better than you were prior to it happening. So guys, be content with where you are. It's okay. You're not behind. You're exactly on the path that you should be. And God got you. So I just wanted to encourage you guys, be content with where you are. Always aim for higher. I'm never going to settle. I'm never going to just accept, oh, I just, you know, should make I don't know what, $30,000 a year. No, if you want to make six figures, if you want to be a millionaire, if you want to make 80000 a year, go for it. You don't have to settle, but be content with where you are and knowing that I'm aiming higher and I'm executing and putting in action steps to actually get there. All right, man, y'all know I love y'all. Appreciate y'all for showing love.